Okay guys, for our second of these lessons, we're going to have a look at an indicator. Um, this picture that you're seeing here is of a special mold called Litmus. Um, and Litmus is special because it changes blue or red based on how acidic or alkali it is. Um, so this is really interesting. Um, and we'll be looking at lots of different indicators today. Right, first of all, pause the video. Where do you think you're going to put the following substances on the pH scale? Pause it now and work out where they'll be. Okay, hopefully you've, put, you've decided where you're going to put these. So let's go. Vinegar will be here uh, between two and three. Orange juice is about three or four. Soap is just below seven. Hair dye is about 12, it's very, very alkaline. Washing powder is about 10. Bleach is very, very highly alkaline, about 14. And water is dead in the middle at 7. So remember, an indicator is just a chemical that changes colour, whether or not it's in an acid or an alkali. Litmus will turn red when exposed to an acid, and blue when exposed to an alkali. Um, litmus, like I said, comes from lichen. It's a kind of moss that grows, uh, that changes colour based on whether or not it's acidic or alkaline. Now in the lab, we tend to use universal indicator. This is actually made of lots of different indicators that work together so that we get a scale of colour changes, going from deep red all the way to a very dark purple with a lot of change in between. The rough colours of the pH scale are as below, going from red through to orange to yellow to green, through to turquoise, blue and eventually violet. At the very edge of our pH scale, these, um, these acids and alkalis can cause serious burns and they can burn through metal. We call this corrosive, and so they have the following warning label that you can see. As we move inwards uh, the, of the pH scale, these are not going to burn the skin, but they could cause it to redden or itch or be very dangerous to the eyes. And so this is called irritant, and they have a different warning label. The middle part is almost harmless, and as long as it doesn't go into your eyes, we call this low hazard. So here you can see an example of the pH scale. There are two acids we use a lot in chemistry, and you need to know their chemical formulas. The first one is hydrochloric acid, which has the symbol HCl. And the second one we tend to use is sulfuric acid, which has the symbol H2SO4. You can normally tell if something in chemistry is an acid because it will have the word acid in its name. We only ever tend to use one alkali in the science lab, and that's sodium hydroxide. And again, you need to know its symbol, which is NaOH. All alkalis will have an OH group in them, what we call a hydroxide group. So you can tell that the name sodium hydroxide is an alkali. We use lots of different indicators in science but they all have different colors and they change color at different pHs. No two indicators are exactly the same. So what I'd like you to do is research the following indicators and find out which pH they change color. For the red cabbage one, I've given some instructions on how to actually do this experiment at home. So please try and persuade your parents to get you to do some science. I think it'll be really, really fun. And please remember to send me your results. I'm very excited to see what you'd end up making.